Hello, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to see what is the basic difference between a radio button and a checkbox. And if you use the radio button, then there is a small problem and uh, how we can fix it. So, as you can see, this is a PDF uh, we have used in the last video. And this is a fitness membership form. And uh, uh, in this form, there are you, f there are few check boxes like drinking. Uh, in drinking, there's a yes and no, and this is a veg and non-veg option. And uh, here is a smoking option uh, where you can choose yes or no. So first, we will see how the radio button works and what is the difference. Uh, if we use the checkbox and uh, what we are, what problem we are going to face if we use the radio button. So in this form, as you can see, we have used the uh, radio button in the smoking section. Uh, the question is uh, whether you smoke or not. Then these are two options, yes and no. And uh, there uh, we have used the uh, radio button. Uh, you can see this is a circle. For yes and there is a circle for no. If you choose, let's say if you choose uh, yes in this poker and uh, for some reason you change your mind, you click no, then uh, you can see the yes disappear automatically. This is a basic function of radio button and this happens because these two uh, radio button lies in the same group. See, uh, for example, if you go to prepare for and if you double click on this uh, radio button then you can see uh, in general tab uh, the name of this group is group 10 and uh, similarly if you click on uh, if you double click on this radio button then you can see the name is same group 10 so this means that these two radio buttons lies in the same group now uh, because they lies in the same group if you click yes then no will disappear automatically uh, this is why because uh, both lies in the same group and uh, if you create some more radio button but uh, if you change the name of these radio button to something else like group 11 or group 12 then if you choose these option then this uh, uh, radio button selection will not disappear automatically because uh, the group is different so if you choose yes or no uh, you can select only one this is the basic function of radio button and uh, the problem lies when uh, the problem comes when you want to deselect uh, yes and no both means uh, you want to um, uh, you want to unselect both option let's say uh, you don't want to answer this question then in that case you have to uh, unselect yes as well as no so uh, the problem is uh, when you again click on yes to unselect it but you have as you can see i'm double clicking single clicking on this uh, radio button but you are unable to unselect it so the problem is you if once you select it or once you choose to answer a question where there is a radio button then you cannot undo it so if you select yes or no once then you have to answer this question because you cannot unselect the option. So uh, to fix this problem in the radio button, you can put a reset button here, uh, side of uh, the options, on the side of the options. So uh, the, if you use a do, do not uh, want to answer this question, then uh, for unselecting both option, they can reset this, reset this question. Uh, see, I made the reset button here to reset the option if uh, the user do not want to answer uh, do not want to answer this question uh, either yes or no so if your user will click this reset button then you can see uh, the no option are uh, deselected automatically because uh, in the reset button I have made the functionality to reset only this to radio button uh, to none so if uh, the form user will select on reset button click on reset button then uh, both both uh, radio button will become uh, not selected 
so uh, but uh, in uh, this is very often to put every uh, where reset button where there's a radio button so it is not a feasible option to put a reset button uh, in the side of every radio button option or radio button questions so this is not a wise option to choose so for this uh, we can use the checkbox let's see you can see there's a drinking option and there's an option to choose whether you are veg or non-veg so if if but the problem with the checkbox is if you select let's say if you select veg i'm a veg person so you can also select the non-veg non-veg so they are not linkable from you know to verify this we you can if you go to prepare form and click on this veg checkbox then you can see the name of this checkbox is checkbox 3 and uh, the name of this non-veg checkbox is checkbox 4 so the name is different and so they are not linked uh, yeah. and uh, the problem with this is uh, the person can be a veg or non-veg uh, but they cannot be both so if uh, the person is non-veg then he, 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 he cannot be pure vegetarian so uh, the problem with the checkbox is uh, they are not you you can select both option so in let's say in the case of uh, smoking if you put the checkboxes then either you smoke or not you can uh, so this is uh, uh, become confusing if confusing if uh, the use form user or the client will select both option by mistake or uh, unknowingly so uh, you have to make sure the op the the user will select only one option uh, so if we if he or she will select non-veg option then the veg option should be uh, removed automatically so the problem with the checkbox is this so in order to fix this with the uh, checkbox there is a way and I will show you in a minute uh, how you can do it but uh, uh, one thing which I went which I want to mention is the only solution with the radio button is to put a reset button there is no other option to unselect the radio button if once the user has been the once the user has selected the option so uh, there is no other way around to fix this problem for the radio button but uh, in the checkbox you can do it uh, like uh, i'm showing you for the dinging option which i made already uh, if you select yes for the linking and uh, if and and for some reason if you want if you want to change your mind and you want to select no then if you select on no then the yes will de disappear automatically and uh, this can be done by um, by putting a different export value for each checkbox for example let me show you how i can do it or you can do it uh, if you select this prepare option, prepare form option, and if you check the name of this checkbox, then you can see the name of this checkbox is checkbox one. And uh, if you see the name of this uh, no checkbox, then you can see the name is same, the checkbox one. So both checkbox having the same name, checkbox one. But uh, uh, this is the first step only. So. Uh, the second step which you have to do to make this happen is uh, you have to change the export value for this thinking option the name is checkbox one and if, if you go to in option tab then you can see the export value is yes so the name is checkbox one and the option is uh, sorry in the option tab the export value is yes so for the no option the name is same the checkbox one uh, but in the option tab you can see the export value is no so you have to change the export value of the option which you which are in the uh, same group or same which are having the same name so you have to make sure both option which you want to make in the same group have the different export value and the checkboxes are having the same name so these two steps you will do and you can see I only one option can be selected only either you can select yes or no and in, and in case you want to 
and in case you want to don't answer this question and if you like to <coughs> skip the and uh, in case you like to skip the question and uh, then you you can also deselect the no option and no answer can be uh, you can you can choose to not answer this question uh, you can easily unselect it and also there's a there's no problem uh, for selecting yes or no one option so this is the way you can do it so uh, we are going to do it for this veg and non-veg option you can see um, we can select both option you can unselect it but you can select both option at a time so this is a, a problem problematic so we are going to fix it let's uh, let's go to the name of this option uh, wedge and you can see the name is checkbox C so copy it now we are putting the same name for this one also for non wedge also so the name is same now now if you if you unselect it then both option will get unselected because the name is same and technically uh, both checkboxes are are having the same name and uh, same uh, same properties everything is same so may if you select anyone then you other will get selected automatically so this is the first step as i told you before and uh, in the wedge option you can go to option and the export value is yes you can make it anything else like a wedge put it wedge in the export value and for the non wedge option go to option tab and put the export value to non wedge or something else whatever you want so if you change the export value of this uh, non wedge of checkbox now the problem has been fixed save it save the pdf now uh, after this after doing these two steps you can select either wedge or non wedge and uh, problem is also fixed because this is a checkbox and you can easily unselect the checkbox this is how you can do it uh, and this is how if you want to use a checkbox and uh, want to uh, select only one option out of two so this is uh, how radio button works and this is how checkbox works and uh, this is how you can fix both of them having a different type of problems for the radio button uh, I told you to put the reset button because you cannot unselect uh, a radio button once you have been you have selected a option and for the checkbox you can unselect it but uh, if you put the same name uh, of the two or more checkboxes then if you select one then others will get selected automatically so to fix this you have to change the export value of the other checkboxes so this is how you can make forms and use the radio button in checkboxes as per your need thank you for this video